so <laughs> what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i thought i would do a little what i eat in a day slash couple days in my life so i'm thinking i'll start this this video off today and probably finish it off tomorrow because i do have a couple of things that i want to do that i do need to separate on two days and then i wanted to show you guys so today i'll be doing a what i eat in a day and i might show you guys a couple of recipes tomorrow also um but i'll also be vlogging and doing a little bit of a day in my life so right now i just got out of the shower my hair is um poofy because i just put dry shampoo in it it was kind of greasy and i didn't feel like washing it also i washed my face so my face looks kind of glowy right now because i just put my cream on and i am about to go make myself my iced dirty chai which literally you guys ever since i tried chai in december it has been my go-to drink i i think i've had hot coffee once since and i really like am obsessed with my ice dirty chai so i've already made my coffee put it in the fridge to cool down so let's go make coffee this is the one thing that i have every single day that and my jar of water so let's go make those two things I just finished making my iced dirty chai so what i do is i do the smallest setting of coffee on my keurig which is right there behind me and i do three ice cubes and i fill up pretty much the rest of the glass with the tazo chai mix or chai concentrate from costco and i leave about like this much room at the top and then i froth some oat milk and creamer you can use the creamer of your choice i use um the bliss almond vanilla french vanilla or just vanilla vanilla um creamer that i get at my grocery store and i froth them together and then i add that on top and it is really really yummy all right so i'm now sitting in my living room i have some editing to do for a vlog that i want to put up today i was supposed to edit it yesterday and i totally forgot about it so i'm gonna do that right now and i'll do breakfast right after that or if i get too hungry then during but i will definitely show you guys what i make for breakfast guys something very exciting just happened so i placed my first aritzia order about a week ago now and i received my joggers i'm actually wearing them right now but i also ordered a matching hoodie and i just received it it was only supposed to ship on the 28th of january and today is the 27th so like it shipped last week and it got here before the date that they said it was going to ship so i got it i'm gonna try it on and i'll show you guys the joggers and the hoodie put together i'm so excited honestly you guys who doesn't love aritzia packaging it is so aesthetically cute like oh my god i set you up on the side of my window in my bedroom i'm going to open it i am so excited you have no idea i'm like look at the little sticker it's so cute all right let's open this also, don't mind, my bed is not made yet. I have yet to make it. I'm still editing. Oh my god. I'm still editing the vlog from last weekend. Oh my god. It's all cold, I guess, because it was in the the truck. Oh, look at this, you guys, and it matches the joggers. Like, how freaking cute is this? I thought I would do a little sit-down part in this video to really explain what i got from aritzia i think the last clip you guys just saw was me opening the package and maybe putting it on but i thought i would do a little sit down part in this video to explain exactly what i got the sizing and the color that i got 
Okay, so I have been wanting to do an Aritzia order for weeks now and I wanted to choose the right joggers and sweater. I knew I wanted joggers and sweaters, so I just wanted to make sure that I got the ones that I really wanted. Um, so I did my research and I finally placed an order last week. So I got the joggers, these ones right here that I am wearing right now. These are, uh, let me get the names that I got. So these joggers are the TNA Cozy AF Boyfriend Basic Sweatpants. I got them in the color heather cloud white in the size small and then i had also ordered because i really wanted a matching set you know i just wanted a matching set I, didn't, I don't really have an official matching set in my closet at all but i really wanted a matching set so i got the tna cozy af mega hoodie which is what i received today this hoodie right here and what i find is really cool is that it doesn't have uh, stitching on the hood it's just like folded over which I think is so so cool it's shorter than I thought it would be but that doesn't really bother me and also the hole for your head I felt like it was kind of small compared to other hoodies but honestly don't mind I love this hoodie like I put it on earlier and I love it so much um, and it's so cozy so comfy the hood is really cute like I don't usually put the hood on the top of my head but with hair like this today maybe I would um, and it looks really cute on and I got it in the same color that I got the pants so the Heather Cloud White I think they're called yeah Heather Cloud White and I got the hoodie in a size 2 all right so for breakfast what I've been loving to eat these past few days um, you guys probably already know I love eating eggs for breakfast so I've been eating two eggs sunny side up with some everything but the bagel seasoning on them two toast with a bit of butter on them and a banana and ham on the side that's usually what i do for breakfast why am i not focused so let's get breakfast started it is almost 11 and i am hungry right now all right you guys so this is breakfast i've got my two eggs ham banana and toast and i eat it with ketchup it's kind of like my guilty pleasure i love eating eggs with ketchup and i've got my ice water right here and i'm going to watch a bit of netflix and then we're gonna go work out i'm just waiting for alex to finish his class and then we're gonna work out so i'm gonna eat this and i'll talk to you guys in a bit all right you guys so i got ready i did two braids in my hair as you guys saw this morning my hair was really really dirty and i did not feel like washing it and to work out it's just gonna be easier if they're in braids and i put my little workout outfit on so i have my little line leggings i have a black sports bra underneath and i thought that i would wear my new hoodie all right you guys we're back home from our workout and we just prepped lunch so i'm gonna show you guys what i'm eating for lunch all right so i've got my jar of water right here and i've got this sort of soup kind of like a stew i'm guessing it's supposed to be a stew but it looks like stew that i got off of pinterest i made a couple of days ago i'll have the recipe linked down below it is so so good i definitely recommend you guys try it out and then I have a couple pieces of bread um, from bread that I made a couple days ago. I'll have that recipe linked down below also if you guys are interested. All right, so I am in my bedroom right now. I'm about to do just like my basic everyday makeup. And then I'm going to try the mascara today. I'm going to try the Voluminous Lash Paradise. So this one right here. There we go. And I'll show you guys a little close-up of what it looks like once I'm done doing my makeup. All right, so I took the mascara out and I curled my eyelashes, so I'm going to try it out now. All right, so I've never had a mascara with this kind of brush before, so let's do this. It definitely looks good. Like, I can't complain. It definitely looks good. All right, let's do the other eye. It definitely looks good. I'm going to put a second coat on it to see how it turns out with the second coat on, and then I'll do a little close-up for you guys to see. Okay. So I feel like when you do the second coat, that's when you really see a big difference. So I haven't cleaned my lashes yet, but look at this, you guys. Like, okay, so my eyelids definitely need to be cleaned, but definitely the second coat did such a difference. And like, can you tell my lower lashes? Like, they look really, really long. Overall... I love this mascara. So I was getting a bit hungry. It's almost five already, but I ate breakfast really late and lunch also. So I'm gonna eat a little snack and make dinner probably in like an hour or two. So I just, I actually just made myself a snack and I thought I would show you guys what I made. Literally nothing special. 
I did a full apple and four slices of cheese. All right, so it's about six o'clock now, so I thought I would get dinner started. For dinner, I'm making some salmon with rice and a salad on the side. So I'm gonna get the rice started because that's probably what's gonna take the longest to prep. So if any of you guys have ever watched any of my other what I eat in the days, then you've probably seen me make this rice before. I cut up some peppers and some onions, I cook them up and I add them to the rice. It just really adds a lot of flavor and it tastes really, really yummy. So I thought I would make that kind of rice for dinner tonight. And for the salmon, I'm trying this new recipe. It's like a lemon and Dijon garlic sauce, like marinade that I'm gonna put on it. And hopefully it comes out really yummy. I'm sure it will, um, but I'm really excited to try it out. So let's start prepping. All right, you guys, so I've started my rice. It is boiling right now. I have my stove going up to 450 degrees. My salmon is ready to have its toppings go on it. And I have some cut up peppers and onions over here that are gonna go into the rice as I mentioned earlier. And I've got my little marinade made up right over here. Um, if you guys want the recipe, it'll be linked down below. So make sure to check there for the recipe. Also, I have to cut up like a slice or two of lemon to put on top of the salmon before it goes into the stove. So now I'm going to make a Caesar salad for the side. I'm going to use kale and lettuce and then add in some cucumbers, some peppers, and a bit of bacon bits in there with a bit of Caesar salad dressing. My salmon is in the stove. And I'm heating up some oil right here to prep the veggies. And I'm also cutting up some kale to go in my little salad for the side. All right, so I've got my rice cooking right here. I added some spices to it so I added some garlic powder some parsley and then this bovril right here that I always put in this rice it's like chicken concentrate and it tastes really really good in rice just don't put too much if you're using this and then I prepped my salad right here all there's left to do is add the dressing in all right you guys I just took the salmon out and it looks so good so i'm going to put this in my plate and i'll show you guys the final result all right you guys this is the final result i've got my piece of salmon on top of some salad and some rice and i also took one of those little breads that i showed you guys earlier that i made yesterday and i put a bit of butter on it i am probably not going to eat this entire plate but at least i'll have some leftovers for tomorrow all right so i'm going to eat and i'll update you guys in a bit also don't forget to look down below for any of the links to any of the recipes that I'm sharing with you guys today. Good morning, you guys. Obviously, it is the next morning. I did not vlog anything last night. I didn't end up doing anything interesting. Um, but right now, I've got you guys in my bathroom because I thought I would do a little face mask because my face is kind of breaking out, just like on my chin. I don't know if you guys can tell right here. I have a couple of breakouts, and I don't know if it's the mask or I don't know if it's maybe just the cold weather outside. All right, so this is a face mask I got for Christmas slash my birthday it is the chinese ginseng and rice clarifying polishing mask from the body shop um i've used it a couple of times and i haven't had any like bad experience with it so i typically like to use it it's very very gentle on the skin i feel so that's something that i really really love so yeah, I'm gonna put it on. Um, I don't have a brush to put it on. I really need to get one. So I'm just gonna put it on with my fingers. But I remember the lady saying that if I put it on with a brush, there's like twice as much product that I get to use. So maybe she was exaggerating a bit, but maybe she was telling the truth, so I should really get a brush. But yeah, I'm gonna put this on with my fingers for today. <laughs> guys i took my shower don't mind my cat <laughs> she's playing with the ice um anyways i took my shower i'm all ready to start the day so yeah i'm gonna move my cat give her another ice cube because my cats love ice cubes for some reason and then i'll show you guys how i make the smoothie all right so first off i'm gonna put everything in the ingredients that i have out for this smoothie are ice a banana some oat milk some peanut butter and some dates really really simple nothing too complicated um the recipe that i found online um does say to add frozen banana also like one regular banana then one frozen banana i'm gonna try just with the regular banana because i don't want it to be too thick but um if i need to i'll add a frozen banana i have a whole bunch in my freezer so i'll let you guys know so let's get this smoothie started
right, so I checked it. The ice seems to be all crushed. So I'm going to split it into two glasses. Um, one for me, one for Alex. I didn't make a lot, which is fine because I didn't know if we were gonna like it. Um, Cause the last time I made it, I didn't like it, but I'm pretty sure it's because of the blender I was using. It just wasn't mixing right. Um, this one really mixed it well. So I'm going to pour this into two glasses and enjoy. All right, you guys, I'm going to taste test this on the camera. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's pretty liquid. So like I said, the recipe that I found online does call for like a frozen banana also to go in. So if you want it to be thicker, totally use a frozen banana also. I just think that the one banana is fine for me really depends on your taste but um i'm gonna push dry and we're going to taste test this definitely like it a lot and i put a lot of peanut butter in it so it does taste a lot like peanut butter if you don't want the peanut butter to be like the main focus taste of the smoothie don't put two scoops in if you put the same amount of ingredients that i put in and also the amount that I did would have been good for one portion for one person. So if that can help you guys out. All right, I'm going to sit in the living room a bit. I started watching Twilight last night. So I'm going to finish the first movie right now. I think I have like 15 minutes left. And then we'll make something else because this is not going to hold me over all morning. I'm probably going to make some eggs or something. Hmm. I just made breakfast exactly the same thing as yesterday minus the banana because I ate it in the smoothie this morning I have ketchup and my water ball and I am now watching new moon All right, you guys, so I'm going to try out the telescopic Mascara from L'Oreal. I was going to wait until I worked out, but I'm having a very very lazy day today And I'm thinking I'm probably just gonna work out later this afternoon so I wanted to try it out in good lighting and also I'm not gonna do a full face of makeup I'm just gonna do the mascara, but let's do it. All right, let's try this out So the brush is very different from any brush that I've ever had except for like the material of the brush like I usually have like Rubber brushes like this, but it is very very different. So let's try it out Okay, so the one thing that I can definitely say is that this brush literally literally grabs every single one of your lashes whereas with other mascara brushes i've had a hard time grabbing every single one of my lashes like sometimes i feel like some le get left behind or i don't go all the way up but this one like really coats the entire lashes and grabs every single one of them okay so overall the mascara looks very very good like I have no complaints it does make my lashes look very very long I did have a hard time doing my lower lashes um the brush kind of went on my waterline and did like some black marks on my waterline but they were very easy to take off um and also when I did the mascara on the lower lashes I got some all over my bottom eyelid I guess I don't know how the how the that part is called but yeah overall like I really like both of these mascaras um, I feel like really depending on the day I might prefer one or the other um, but I think overall my favorite one is the one I tried yesterday so the voluminous lash paradise I definitely like both of them a lot so yeah we'll see I'll, I'll probably do like I said it'll depend on my mood maybe some days i'll use one some days i'll use the other anyways i thought i would end this video off here i was doing the what i eat in a day mostly for yesterday i wasn't planning on doing it today i'm literally eating leftovers all day because i have so much food in the fridge so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below for more and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys